Okay guys, so today we are listening here um, to a test tape. It, it's probably from the 60s. I thought it's kind of weird and, and interesting uh, to listen to that. So there are a number of different test tones on the tape and then later on some different kinds of music and all to calibrate basically your uh, turntable but also your stereo checks of left and right channel and I just want to give that a listen and so all that is played through a Sony TC350 reel-to-reel machine in three and a half inch per second um, somebody really made an effort here to document everything that is on the tape so you can see here the different uh, channel identification, phasing, channel balance and different parts of the of the reel and then later on we go through trombones, orchestral sound and all kinds of different types of music and all that for the purpose of calibration of your stereo. Also somebody took note that the narration is from somebody called Peter Roberts from NBC and I don't know really the source of this record, I don't have the original, I just found that in a box with a lot of reels. Um, so that's an EMI tape, 5 inch. So let's have a listen to it. The producers of Project 3 Records, the Total Sound Stereo, and the editors of Popular Science Monthly have designed this test record in order that you may adjust your stereo system to faithfully reproduce the full range and dynamics of sound which today's advanced recording technology places within your record's grooves. This side of the Project 3 test record provides a series of reasonable but comprehensive tests to evaluate and adjust your reproduction equipment for optimum performance. It has been made under the most carefully controlled laboratory conditions to ensure its accuracy. Before attempting to play this record, make sure that the stylus force of your phonograph pickup has been adjusted to the manufacturer's recommended value. Excessive stylus force can damage the sensitive grooves of this precision record. The first series of tests uses constant tone signals to check the electrical performance of your equipment. You may use your ear to judge the relative loudness of each tone, or for more complete accuracy, place a voltage measuring device across the output of your power amplifiers or the input terminals of your speakers. To ensure that your stereo system reproduces a recording with the same exact spatial relationships as the original sound, left channel information should be heard from your left speaker and the right channel information should be heard from your right speaker. My voice, as well as the next tone, 1000 cycles per second, recorded at 100% modulation, should come from the left speaker. If this is not true, Reverse the speaker output connections of your amplifier. If your speakers have been connected properly, my voice should now be coming from your right speaker. The next tone is 1000 cycles per second at 100% recording level, right channel only. This next test is to determine that your individual speakers are properly connected or phased. When correctly phased, your speakers will respond in the proper direction to the recorded information. 
The effect of out-of-phase sound is most obvious at the lower audible frequencies. As the following 100 cycle tone is heard, reverse the leads of only one of your speakers. In one of the two positions, the sound of the tone should be louder and more definite. This is the correct connection for proper phasing of your speakers. As your speakers are now phased correctly and connected to the proper channels, you may proceed with the next test. This balance test will ensure that equal signals to each stereo channel will produce equal signals to each speaker. If your speakers are equally matched and you position yourself midway between them, the test tone should appear to come from a single source centered between your speakers. Adjust your balance control or individual channel amplifier gain controls for equal output. The test tone is 1,000 cycles per second recorded at equal amplitudes, 100% level in each stereo channel. The next test consists of a series of accurately calibrated test frequencies to check that your system is adjusted for proper response characteristic. Your phonograph should be set for RIAA playback equalization and your tone control set for flat response. If your system is working properly, the output of each channel should be substantially equal at each frequency. Slight deviations are quite acceptable at the extreme low and high frequencies, but should be no more than two decibels or 25% of the reference level at 1,000 cycles per second. If the deviation is more than this amount, slight adjustment of the individual tone controls should remedy it. In order to eliminate any effects of cartridge distortion, these test tones are recorded 12 decibels below normal recording level. Calibrate your measuring device on the following 1,000 cycle tone recorded at this level. This test tone is repeated at the conclusion of the last test tone of 30 cycles per second as a check of your initial calibration. 1,000 cycles per second reference tone recorded 12 decibels down in each channel. Ten thousand cycles per second. Eight thousand cycles per second. Six thousand cycles per second. Four thousand cycles per second. Two thousand cycles per second. One thousand cycles per second. Seven hundred cycles per second. Audible buzz or percussive pop as the level is increased. The high frequency tracking ability of your cartridge is excellent. Level number one.
Level number two. Level number three. Level number four. The next test consists of an audio glide tone from 15,000 cycles per second to 30 cycles per second, recorded at normal level. Listen carefully as it descends for any buzzes, rattles, or lack of smoothness from the speakers, or any sympathetic vibrations or resonances from room objects. The cause of any room object vibrations should be corrected. The individual channels should be switched in and out with your balance control or channel switch to determine that the quality of the sound is the same from each speaker. If it is not, it would indicate that the speaker's positions are not proper and are not balanced acoustically. The next test will check the low frequency tracking ability of your cartridge. A bass drum is played four times at successively higher levels. If your cartridge is unable to track this modulation, you will detect a rattling sound and the drum will have a disjointed quality. Level number one. Level number two. Level number three. Level number four. A series of unmodulated or quiet grooves follows. Leave your volume control in its normal listening position. You should not hear any low frequency hum or rumble while the stylus plays these grooves. The tone you will hear next will be the standard pitch A. 440 cycles per second.
In our first musical selection, we demonstrated the normal range of the large Pops recording orchestra. From the low tones of the B-flat tuba to the extreme highs of the piccolo. To achieve an enjoyable musical evaluation of your reproducing equipment, we believe that it is most important that the test procedures include musical content of good quality. In presenting this musical program, we shall demonstrate many of the various orchestral instruments, and by means of short musical patterns and arrangements, give you an opportunity to compare the natural sounds of the instruments as you already know them with the sounds reproduced through your stereo equipment. We will combine tests for your speaker balance and response with an expose of some of the different orchestral instruments, their sounds, their average range, their potential dynamics, and their own individual characteristics. For this particular test, we will use a few of the percussion and rhythm instruments, which are fundamental to a musical experience. First, the timpani. We will play a musical pattern on the left speaker, then repeat the same pattern on the right speaker. Among the many other rhythm and percussion instruments are the snare drum, cymbals, xylophone, vibraphone, cowbells, and bongos, plus a great number of novelty instruments used basically for special effect. Here is a musical arrangement which presents the above-mentioned instruments on alternate channels. Contributing to the development of the arrangement are organ, guitar, trumpet, trombone, and fender bass. The most unusual and exacting test for your equipment is this next arrangement. It is the only recording ever produced that is performed by 21 trombones. And since the trombone is a very difficult instrument to record, this is a real test of your equipment and its ability to reproduce high modulation, harmonically rich middle frequencies with minimum distortion. 